Today I'm going to explain something that's always been difficult for me, and that is why does marginal cost equal average total cost when average total cost is at its lowest point? In micro, we like to show the average total cost curve as a U, and marginal cost curve sloping upward and slicing through the average total cost curve at its lowest point. Students often say, well, why is that? And I quote some goofy thing about how uh, the when marginal cost is below the average, then that brings down the average. And when marginal cost is above the average, it brings the average up. And so it must necessarily intersect at the lowest point. But today I'd like to throw a little bit of algebra and calculus at you and see if that makes sense from that perspective. Here's kind of a goofy function for total cost. Total cost equals uh, x squared plus one, where x squared is the variable cost and one is the fixed cost. So this doesn't change, but this change as exponentially. Again, variable cost is x squared. The fixed cost is one. So if we want to figure out average variable cost, then we're going to take variable cost and we're going to divide it by um, the number of outputs. So that would be x squared over x or x squared over x1. I can subtract the exponents. And when I do, I just get x to the first or simply x. So it's easy to say that average variable cost is simply x. Average fixed cost then will be 1 divided by x because x will be increasing, but this will be a constant. So then our average total cost then would be our average variable cost plus our average fixed cost. Well, here is my average variable cost and here's my average fixed cost. So that's my equation for my average total cost. The marginal cost it's the first derivative of the total cost function and total cost is x squared plus one. To take the first derivative, I cancel out the constant. I take the power and I put it in front of the variable x. So marginal cost is equal to two x. So what I've done now is I've added, put them into my calculator where this is my marginal cost, and then this is my average variable cost, and now I'm gonna graph them. And you can see my average total cost being graphed, and now you can see my marginal cost being graphed, and voila, they intersect at the lowest possible point. I don't know if this helped you or hurt you, but uh, I've always wanted to do it, so there you go.